I present to you Collimator, a cloud-based modeling and simulation tool in which the backend is written in Python. So Collimator is next generation of the simulation platforms. It is cloud compatible, which means that it is also high performance computing capable on many different HPC platforms. Here we have a case study of how Collimator reduced the simulation time of a large design project from hours to minutes. It also saved 16 hours per person every year, which is a lot if you add it up over a long time period. To find the latest news, you can check the description below, which will redirect you to the Collimator website. Try it for free. You can sign up by your email, put your name and email address and so on. Also put your area of focus. Once you sign up, log in with your email address and you just press continue. So. This will redirect you to the main project page. To start a new project, it is similar to MATLAB. You just have to click on new project and it'll take you to this page here where you can define a name along with your subject and a brief description as well. You can pick a template here based on what your design will be. Press create and then you have four examples in there which you can use for reference. They are mass spring dampers, vehicle dynamics and so on. Let's start a new model and let's call it test model here. So here on the left, we have the library browser. On the right, you have the simulation settings and in the middle, the workspace. So here we have the solver settings. We can change it there. A lot of the tools are practically identical to Simulink, but it just implemented in a different manner. It's more seamless and robust here. So essentially, you can set parameters there, which are variables, which are taken from the workspace and loaded into the model blocks here. So I'm just building a simple model here. I'm defining X equals 10. I'm giving the model a name. On the left, you can drag in any blocks that you need. For. You can have things like step inputs, ramp inputs, state space model, transfer functions. Here I'm defining a step from zero to 10. So you can rename the block like this here. When you open the block itself, you can have the block parameters where you can define the name and so on. So for the end value, I just put X in there because X is equal to 10. We can drag in a few more blocks that we need. Let's put a transfer function. To connect them, you need to connect it from right to left and not from left to right. So just keep that in mind. In the transfer function, you can define the numerator and the denominator in the same way as in MATLAB. So that is quite useful. And next, you can also drag in anything else. The blocks function in the same way as MATLAB in terms of adding variables, assigning initial conditions, inputs and outputs. So here I have a simple model here. I'm just going to drag in one more block for the integration. That's called the integrator. And here you can also define the initial condition, what the value will be at time equals zero. So we can run this here by pressing the play button on the top. And this will open up a console where you can see the compiler time and the simulation time. So these are very useful in terms of benchmarking your performance and comparing two designs if one is faster than, than the other. So this is the essential process of building a simple simulation in Collimator. We have a whole bunch of library blocks available. Just keep in mind that this is not the full version. It is only a beta version. The full version will have a lot more features in there. So things like scopes and displays may not be here, but they will be for sure in the final version. This is a good start. You can actually build some simple models here and save it on the cloud. So you just have to log in and then it'll be there. This means that you can easily collaborate between two people as well if you're working on a shared project, which is very large in scale. So lastly, we'll look at some examples here. So this example is a simple battery example with the power cycle in it. So we have um, a whole bunch of systems here. So instead of defining MATLAB functions, you have to define a Python script. You know how in Simulink you would define a MATLAB script there, but here it's Python for the whole thing. And you can use Python packages, NumPy is an example here. There's many more like SciPy and Scikit-learn and so on. And 
The layout is similar to MATLAB where you define gain values, addition, subtraction, products, and a loop as well. So you can have feedback loops just like in MATLAB with custom initial conditions for each block if you need it. So essentially everything is on the right where you can configure the settings individually for each separate block or system. And on the left, the library browser will always be there so you can easily drag in and drop anything that you need. So when you click on the visualizer, you can actually see the value of each signal. So in MATLAB, you would have a scope which you would have to drag in each time, but this one is similar to the Simulink Data Inspector. It essentially lets you drag in a signal and see what the outputs are at each time step. So we can also drag in multiple signals and see the outputs at, at the same time for a bunch of values to compare how each value may relate to another. So that is quite a useful tool and it lets you debug your design much faster and lets you also uh, pick out room for improvement. So here is a single graph. We have X and Y, so where X equals time and Y is the value of the signal itself. We can look at one more example here, the pendulum. This is a simple double integrator system where it's integrated twice, velocity and position. You have the acceleration, which is integrated there, as, as you can see. So you have gain for damping and gravity and so on. So yeah, essentially you see how it is very similar to Simulink and in terms of the way the blocks are set together and how the inputs and outputs are configured along with any workspace variables and so on. Lastly, we can look at a mass spring damper where you have a mass M, a spring constant K and a damping of B. So this is a simple, once again, a double integrator system where you can define your parameters in the workspace once again and and do a simulation. So that's it for this video. This video is presenting a new tool called Colimeter. If you're interested, you can sign up in the link below. It is in beta still, so there are um, a number of improvements to be made and a bunch of uplifts before the final design is complete. Thank you for reaching out to me, Colimeter.ai, and I see you in the next video. Take care, have a nice day, bye.